हेलो एवरीबडी टुडे इन अवर एनालिसिस ऑफ जर्नी ऑफ वेरियस स्टेट्स फ्रॉम एन एफ एच एस फोर टू एन एफ एच एस फाइव राउंड ऑफ सर्वे वी आर गोइंग टू केरला एंड सी वॉट चिल्ड्रन हैव डन और हाउ एज द स्टेट फेयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स चिल्ड्रन न्यूट्रिशन स्टेटस इन गॉड्स ओन कंट्री केरला हैज ए गुड ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड in terms of nutritional status of its children but as one would expect its further journey will resemble an uphill climb so one has to be appreciative of that fact kerala has also done well in terms of reduction in child mortality but there are some regional variations interesting regional variations in kerala in its performance and very typically the southern region and the northern region tend to differ and maybe in some sense the southern tip and the northern tip differs in its performance so it is important therefore that we map this journey to stress the need for a more nuanced and decentralized planning which kerala already usually does in this analysis that we present we have used the website nfhs4.ndigis.org that is for nfhs4 data and maps and nfhs5.ndigis.org which is for the fifth round and then we have used qgis to further modify the maps uh, as the need was and any one of uh, the viewers can do it themselves uh, it's not uh, rocket science how is the story unfolded for under now here Uh, little worrying fact that we are seeing slippages now one would have expected kerala to continue to better but as i said now we are looking at the uphill climb portion of it so we see slippages across the state across and that's important but the data range in terms of uh, percentage of children who are underweight in a district that remains nearly the same one would rather say it has gone marginally up while doing this analysis we have used the same cutoffs for nfhs 4 and nfhs 5 so we want to see what has happened there were gains and losses in nfhs 5 so this story of under what has happened to stunting let's take it in stunting we see a more worrying across the state except the southern tip now when i say more worrying slippage kerala compared to other states might have done that might have continued to but kerala is comparing itself at the nfhs 4 round with itself in nfhs 5 round and therefore the bar has been set higher for the state and that's something which the state should accept so we see a slightly worrying uh, slippage in case of stunting uh, barring one district uh, in the nfhs 5 uh, round if we use the same cutoffs as in which is four the whole state goes into the reddish band that is about 22% children being stunted which is not uh, a good development let's look at the other aspect wasting wasting the story gives you some kind of a mixed bag so there have been some reductions particularly in the northern tip we will see some reduction uh, Uh, two districts moving from the red band into the yellow band but new districts uh, showing a worsening picture uh, the southern tip uh, hasn't done well and that should be a matter of concern because the southern tip is usually doing well in most of the so this is something which uh, kerala needs to look at and probably look at the urban and rural nuances also but that's a separate issue uh, what happens to see the this is one area where there are considerable gains across the state and this comes out very clearly from the map uh, overall if you look at the data range there is a percentage of children who are severely wasted it reduces significantly both on the lower bound and on the upper bound in nfhs 4 the lower bound was 3.2% the upper bound was 14.3% in nfhs 5 the lower bound has gone down to 2.11% and upper bound has come down from 14.3 to 
that's that's significant and that that also reflected in the red bands disappearing completely and greenish patch uh, appearing so wasting is something where kerala has done uh, fairly well uh, this would have an implication and we'll talk about it in our towards the end what has happened to child mortality as per nfit is for We are we are not comparing it with the uh, SRS annual reports, but we are looking at NFHS four and five. We will see an impressive performance in the urban segment in reducing infant mortality and under five mortality rate. Uh, the neonatal mortality in urban is low compared to the rural. Uh, infant mortality again is considerably low. It is the rural segment in Kerala. Which is uh, requiring to catch up. Now, when we talk about Kerala, we usually say that there is hardly any difference between the rural and urban. Uh, it's a continuum, but that may not necessarily be the case when it comes to the medical infrastructure for children and mothers. So that rural part needs a little uh, more careful scrutiny, and probably some stepping up of uh, program intervention has to be done. Interesting story comes in any. If you recall our previous analysis of uh, other states and all India level, in anemia levels in NFHS five have jumped across the country. And interestingly, it's the lower bound which has jumped hugely. The upper bound also. But in case of Kerala, we see a mixed picture. When it comes to children in the six to fifty-nine month age group, it's a mixed picture, but the state has still bucked the national trend. So the lower range has gone up from eighteen point one to something like thirty point three, which again looks a little implausible. We see this uh, here clearly that the southern tip, the or the southern half, I would say, which has done fairly well, there also we see some deterioration. in the middle part there's a high incidence of uh, anemia by kerala standards so therefore i think we need to look at this but this trend of uh, uh, anemia not getting aggravated very uh, significantly that is seen again in the 15 to 9 19 18 group of women now this is important because there are considerable gains and again the state has bucked the trend the range of percentage anemic women it has narrowed down no marginal but this is uh, national trend is everything has gone up in kerala if you look at the data range percentage anemic women 15 to 19 age group uh, of course we are talking about from 21% it has actually come down to 20.9 so 21.4 to 20.9 means it has not gone up the upper Bound from forty-seven point nine, or we can say forty-eight percent, has come down to forty-three point three. Now that is significant. So when we look at this whole issue of NFHS five anemia measurement uh, methodology issue, or or any other uh, confounding parameter, Kerala will probably be an interesting benchmark. The same story repeats when it comes to women in fifteen to forty-nine. Uh, year age group there are considerable gains across the state but the data range in terms of percentage anemic women has actually marginally but only marginally from 22.4 lower bound it has jumped to 27 the 42.9 or 43 percent uh, women being anemic the upper bound has jumped to 49.6 or you can say 50 but if you look at NFHS cutoff levels and look at what has happened uh, at the NFHS five. The southern half has uh, lost power, but there have been gains on the northern and, uh, or one would say, in the middle uh, Kerala. What does uh, it tell us overall? Tell us that Kerala has faced some hiccups in improving the nutrition status of its children. Second is severe wasting has reduced significantly. However, so that is one uh, one good news one can say. 
urban child mortality levels have reduced considerably. And rural needs to catch up. That's the other action point. Anemia, the state has bucked the national trend, but probably it would need to do something more. We could probably wait for one more round of NFHS to uh, see how the anemia story unfolds. One interesting point is Kerala can afford to talk in terms of having a proportion of the district. One is not talking of a block or a project, one entire district. At least a district which is underweight free or a district which is wasting free. Now, a similar feat was actually achieved by Kerala in the total literacy campaign days, where one district and the second district and the third district in Kerala, they declared themselves 100% literate. And it had fired the imagination of the rest of it. Can Kerala do it again? We leave the viewers with this thought before we move to another state. Thank you very much.